Hello, hello, good people. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Coming back at you live once again from the Lone Star State with another edition of the Media Mike Speaks. Yes, good people. I know I said I'd take a break, but I have two men subscribers saying keep it going, keep it going. Um, it's really helping helping me. They're saying, look, um, I'm getting into it with coworkers sometimes, with my family members and friends about the jab. And this is good therapy for me because it's, it's keeping me enlightened, keeping me hope about, you know, where this world is going. Is this real or not? Why is the big push, especially for uh, uh, people of color? So it's something we need to keep keep this, this information coming in, good people. So I decided to roll up my sleeves and not take a day's rest and get to work. But the latest in, this is not breaking news, this is news here. Mr. Don Lemon, the CNN news anchor, I guess that's what you call an anchor. You know, an anchor, that, you know, something holds you down. Anyway, so he goes on to say here, no shot, no service. Unvaccinated people, I guess, shouldn't be allowed in grocery stores, sporting events, or work. No shirt, no shoes, no shot, no service. This is what he's calling for. Man, get the hell out of here with this. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to talk about this. This, this is going to be short, people. But I had to, I had to get this out. For you all to know what, what's what's coming. Now, take a look here. The CNN anchor started his show Monday with controversy stating that anyone who has not received the COVID-19 vaccine should be banned from supermarkets, ball games, and offices. Now, I don't know who in the hell promoted you to be the vanguard of the COVID-19 push, but then I don't know who that is, but somebody did. Anyway, because he deals with information, no matter how untrue it may be. So anyway, take a look here at this quote. I'm sure a lot of people are not going to agree with this. Lemon began his show after this quote. And quote goes on to quote, but don't get the vaccine. You can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine. Can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine. Can't go to work. You don't have a vaccine. Can't come here. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Unquote. Sounds to me like nothing short of a mob mentality. Things that make you go, hmm. Now, Lemon said, we continue to waste our breath on people who are just not going to change. Unquote. Who the hell are you to tell people what to do as far as them changing? But this is what's going on. Now, I have nothing personal against this man. I really don't. Even with the debacle he did with our commander in chief at the town hall. Nice suck up, sir. You know, well, nice save. Because you were told what to do. And I could see the look on your face. It was an agony. <laughs> it was it was classic. You, honestly, sir, sir, you looked embarrassed. You were really embarrassed. <laughs> you know, okay, anyway. So, like I said, I have nothing against this man. I'm not going to attack this man personally. Nothing to do with his personal life. Because, you know, we all know. But I'm not going to go there. I don't do that. This is about what he said here. As a professional, as a news anchor, nothing to do about him and what his choices are. So, and the way I see it on that point, okay, he's the last one to talk. But anyway, let's go on here. The CNN host ranted. You know, circular logic, they just keep going back and saying, well, it's my freedom or whatever. It's my freedom or whatever. You're a news anchor and you saying, or oh, whatever? You using slang? Anyway, let's go. I'm free. Well, your kid is not free to give other kids meningitis in schools. Got to take a vaccine to do that. You got to take a vaccine in order to be employed. So what is the big deal? Unquote. Well, sir, this is not about meningitis. This is not about that. Period. Don't use that for this. <laughs> okay, I thought you better than that, but I have, I guess. Anyway, but you know, hey, you got your orders. I understand. You're following orders. Now, let me conclude that people who are concerned about what they put in their body or drinking alcohol and putting worse things in their body on the weekends. We know that, sir. Okay, so now we're attacking people who drink? Yes, they are. But you know, Don, or should I say Mr. Lemon or Lemon, you want to be called that? Okay. Which, as we know, is deemed to be sour. Okay, anyway, just saying, those people are doing it voluntarily. Let me repeat that. Voluntarily, sir. Not forced, sir. Or should I say dude or homie? Okay. 
Now, if you are implying that drinking is contagious, then, well, let's just say I haven't heard that one. So stop it, bruh. Bruh, stop it. You don't sound too bright with this one. But I know what you're doing and the agenda you are trying to push. But anyway, that was just the media mic rant, good people, and bringing you the information. And sad to say, but that's it for today. And remember, if you have or have a bad day, make sure you are well prepared for what's to come so you can be okay. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker, bringing you the information and keeping you well informed. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night.